Hey guys, welcome to MesaKid.org's first video tutorial. Today we're going to be building a mousetrap car. Now in this video, the first part is going to be composed of showing you the parts you're going to need to actually build your mousetrap car, and the second part is going to be composed of how to build it. And the last component is really going to be actually testing the vehicle. So a really great place to find some of your parts is going to be at a Home Depot. Now, before you begin, make sure that you try and figure out where you can find all your different parts, whether at home or at a local hardware store. It just so happens that some of the parts I need are at a Home Depot. Now, one important component you're going to need is a mouse trap to actually build your car. So, head on over to your local hardware store and go into that section and try to find it. You can definitely ask for help and find someone who knows where that stuff is. Now inside Home Depot, you'll find a variety of different mouse traps. Some are the mouse trap you're looking for, some are going to be glue traps, and you want to avoid those. You actually want to make sure you get the proper size as well, and not these ginormous ones that uh, they sell at Home Depot. So make sure you get the right type, uh, make sure it's also a Victor brand, because that's usually the kind that works best. Now since I'm at Home Depot already, I decided to pick up some eye hooks. Now eye hooks are important because they actually hold the placement for the wheels, and I'll talk about that later. But essentially the eye hooks function as a way for the axles and the wheels to fit on your mousetrap car. And without them, you're going to have a lot of problems. Now Home Depot has a variety of eye hooks, so make sure you find the right size. Now I'm going to actually try and go for a much smaller eye hook because that works best for this design. The last component I'm going to pick up at Home Depot is string. Now string is important because it actually connects the lever of the actual mousetrap to that of the rear wheels. Without it, the vehicle won't move. And since there's a lot of force that takes place at the lever of the mousetrap car when it snaps, the string may break. So make sure that you pick up very strong string, but make sure it's not big like these pieces of rope that you just saw. So try and experiment with them. The last major component you're going to need are wheels. And a great place to pick these up are at a local dollar store or dollar tree. Now you won't find just wheels at a dollar store, you're actually going to find them in toy cars. So you want to try and find different sized toy cars to get different sized wheels. And I'll talk more about those later in the video.